What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel once again, Rebbed here. And for this episode, I'm going to share to you one of my favorite sneakers from Nike and Air Jordan brand. Since today, it's MJ Mondays. So guys, dyan lang kayo, huwag kayong aalis. Watch this first. So, ayun. Ah... Uh, I-share ko sa iyo, papakita ko sa inyo yung isa sa mga favorite kong sneakers uh, from uh, Nike and Air Jordan brand. And I would say na ito yung uh, isa sa mga grail ko na, na sneaker. Okay, hindi ko na papatagalin. Ito siya. Okay. okay. So, I think guys, meron na kayong idea kung ano ito. So, uh, this is an Air Jordan 3 Black Cement OG. Okay. Uh, and it was released last 2018, Fe February 2000, 2018. So, uh, shout out pala dun sa friend ko from Malaysia na nag-reserve uh, para sa akin ito. Kasi actually, he, dito sa Pilipinas, sobrang hype nitong nitong sneakers na to nung ni-release ito at medyo expensive, medyo mahal. Hindi medyo mahal yung yung price. I, I don't have any idea basta it's more than 10,000 yung 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 price nung nung sneakers na to ng Jordan 3 na ito. Pero uh, doon sa friend ko from Malaysia, shout out pa lang ang pangalan niya is Richard uh, Balintin Baguhin. Okay, shout out to you bro. Uh, uh, see you soon. And, bibili ko siya for just a retail price. Actually, medyo, kasi sa Malaysia is yung, uh, we've been to Malaysia for 5 years actually. Umuwi lang kami dito for good. Uh, ang mumura ng mga branded products doon, mga branded items doon. Uh, dahil yung tax is hindi ganun kalaki compared sa Pilipinas. So, during the holiday season, seasons like um, uh, Chinese New Year and Hari Raya, the Muslim uh, Christmas, um, yung Muslim celebration, it's a Hari Raya season. Sobrang bagsak preso yung mga mga branded items don. So <laughs> kami nag nagkakram kami talaga, talagang we uh, talagang bulto bulto, nakabagsak lang, talagang ahalukain mo mga branded items don like Zara, Mango, what else? super dry yung uh, isa sa mga brand na clothing napakamura so if you uh, kung na kung kung trip nyo ng mga murang mga branded items pumunta kayo sa Malaysia na mga Chinese New Year or Hari Raya season sa Malaysia dahil bagsak presyo talaga sobrang sale talaga to at talagang mag-extra effort kayo kailangan yung uminom ng energy drink kasi hahalukayan nyo talaga kasi tambak-tambak lang siya but anyways, let's go back so, ba't tayo napunta dun? so, let's just go back to the shoes okay? so, just na, na, uh, nakuha ko to sa friend ko last uh, December 2018 it's, so, it's a uh, it's a nice birthday gift to me and a Christmas gift to me Okay, ito na siya guys. See. Ayan. Angas nito. Sobra. Hindi ko pa siya nasusuot actually. Pero sobrang angas. Tingin yung outsole. Yung midsole niya. Dun sa midsole niya may black, may black elephant print print na sinasabi. Tapos yung leather quality niya is sobra premium. And every time na meron akong bagong sneakers, ang ritual na ginagawa ko is <sighs> ang bango ng bagong bagong Ito guys, gusto ko kang i-share sa inyo bakit nagustuhan ko tong Air Jordan 3 Black Cement OG no? Because of the history. Kasi batang 80s ako. I was born 1981. 1981. So, fan ako ni Michael Jordan. And then, during that time, nung mga 80s na nag-aaral ako, hindi ako maka-afford uh, maka ng ganitong sapatos. 
yung mga classmates mga classmates ko sa school before meron na sila mga sapatos na ganito kasi yung mga yung mga dad nila, yung mga tatay nila nagtatrabaho abroad. So nakakabili sila to pero during nag nag-aaral ako hindi kami maka-afford ng ganito. So so now it's may nagkaroon tayo ng work, kumikita tayo. So meron na may tayo pambili. So I, I believe na ito yung time para you know i spoil na ko yung sarili ko. Okay. So uh, aside dun sa sa design niya, so yung sa angas design ng tong sapatos na to is gusto ko yung history nito mga ga, ga, mga ano. You know, gusto gusto ko yung history nito guys kasi itong Air Jordan 3 was originally released during 1987 to 1988 it was uh, designed by Tinker Hatfield okay yung Jordan 1 and 2 hindi si Tinker Hatfield yung hindi si Tinker Hatfield yung nagdesign noon for your information lang so kasi nagresign or uh, tinanggal yung nagdesign ng Jordan Air Jordan 1 and 2 so naghahanap ngayon ng designer ang um, ng Nike brand nung, during that time for uh, for the Jordan Jordan brand so si Tinker Hatfield yung nandoon actually si Tinker Hatfield is an architect and then in uh, turn into shoe designer okay 1987 and 1988 it was a breakthrough sa career ni Michael Jordan why because during that time si Michael Jordan nanalo siya ng slam dunk contest and out of hindi lang yon all-star MVP pa siya and all defensive team or all defensive first player all defensive team siya and all defensive player of the year so I would say so and then he was NBA MVP of the year so it was a breakthrough for Michael Jordan's career and also a breakthrough for Nike and Air Jordan brand kasi after this tong shoes na to yung sumunod na shoes was really fantastic and it was really a breakthrough for the company uh, din, uh si Tinker Hatfield uh, he dis, he designed the Air Jordan from uh, Air Jordan 3 from Air Jordan 3 to Jordan 15 and then he make it a comeback doon sa mga Air Jordan Air Jordan 20s na So so yun yung ito yung ito yung gusto ko dito sa sneakers na to na no hindi lang siya sabi na parang sinuot mo siya of course you have something to share with uh, ito yung kinalakihan mo ito yung history na it's 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 a it's a con, pag, pagpalagay natin it's a conversational piece na pag sinuot mo siya na hindi lang mapapa oh wow Jordan 3 yung mga tao but It merong history behind that shoes and yun yung mas yun yung gusto ko sa gusto ko actually sa mga sapatos na Jordan. So it's isa sa it's a to dalawa dalawa na actually yung Air Jordan na sapatos ko. One is the uh, Air Jordan 7. It's an Olympic uh, colorway, no? So siguro sa next next video i i ko sa inyo ulit siya i ko sa inyo yung yung isang isang grail ko so mga i would say na itong mga Air Jordan shoes ko ngayon is i sa, sa mga grail ko na sapatos so yun uh, 1987 1988 it was first release itong Air Jordan 3 and then 1994 nag nag uh, nagkaroon siya ng comeback second release siya no 1994 So uh, I think that time 1987 1988 it was released para it was like $100 nung ni-release siya magkano to pero nung 1994 ni-release siya second release it's uh, puma- tumaas na siya ng 105 siguro talagang yung demand ng mga tao na to get demand to get this to cop this to cop this pair of ano sneaker and then 2001 and 2003 that was a three uh, sa third and fourth release nung nung brand na to and then come coming 2018 2018 ito yung pina, yung fifth fifth release nitong uh, Jordan 3 Black Cement OG so biruin niyo no from yung last na na-release siya is 2003 so imagine 2018 na-release siya so more more like 15 years 
uli na release ito. So, magbibilang tayo ulit. I don't know kung kailan ulit i-release ng Nike and uh, or ng Air Jordan brand tong sapatos na to. Hindi natin alam. Baka after 15 years ulit may release tong, tong sapatos na to. So, hindi natin alam uh, <laughs> kung kailan ulit. Pero, I like I love these shoes. I like these shoes so much. Hindi ko pa siya nasusuot, pero sa Sunday, maybe, susuot ko siya sa, sa church. Mm, sa Christian church. Binyag na din. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, wala na akong masasabi. Okay, <laughs> guys. Speechless. Kasi, so, yun lang. So, doon ko natatapusin itong video na to. Kung na-enjoy nyo itong video na to, uh, i-like nyo na yung, uh, yung like button and then mag-subscribe na rin kayo for, uh, sa, mag-subscribe na rin kayo sa channel ko. And if you have some comments and suggestion, uh, ilagay nyo lang doon sa comment section sa baba. So, I'm willing na sagutin as much as I can nasagutin yung mga question nyo and suggestion nyo. And that's it, guys, for this uh, episode. Salamat, sinamahan nyo ako uh, once again sa video na to. And makikita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod na video. And yun. So, guys, see you soon. Bye and God bless.